So I'm joined now by Rebels head coach and general manager, Bill Rothasler. Bill, thanks for joining me. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, Bill, let's start off by talking about the game last night. It was a, a tough defeat here at home, 5-4 against the uh, Nelson Leafs. What did you see last night? Um, you know, it's uh, we have a young team, and uh, obviously we went on a bit of a run before, and, and uh, you got to learn how to lose. It's mm -hmm. kind of a cl cliche, but... But you know, we, it's as a coach when when we're in this sort of situation, when we know we have a young team and our, and our goal is just getting better on a consistent basis. Where we're we we always short term um, want to win that game, and short term it's about doing whatever we have to do, whether it's lineup wise or or whatever the case is to win, to win that that that's that that outcome but right. but it's really easy to step away from it at the end of it and go okay well it was a learning experience sure and uh, you know in the playoffs we're not gonna we told the boys last night we're not gonna sweep our way into the into the finals not gonna sweep our way all the, all the way we're gonna have to learn how to lose some games and how we respond from that's big and and how we you know we're not gonna get the best uh, you know, there's always going to be extenuating circumstances and, and bad bounces and, sure. and whatever else it may be. And, yeah. and uh, you know, it's up to us to find a way to even be better than that. And uh, I think last night, although, you know, certain we had two, two, two missed, two waved off goals. And, and uh, it's easy to say, well, if those would have went in, then, then we would have won. But yeah. it's also, you know, if we would have had a stronger first period, if we would have bared down a lot more pucks and, and stuck to our structure right from the get-go, then uh, we also would won. Yeah. So it's about uh, you know when you're young, it's easy to to, to, to blame certain things and, and instead of uh, figuring out what you could have done better. And I think this last night was a big learning experience. And with the meeting this morning, was a big sort of accountability sure. uh, lesson to figure out what we could do. Yeah. Because um, at the end of the day, all, like, you have to figure out as as a team if you're going to win, you have to figure out what's going to challenge you and, and prevent you from winning that game. And sure. then it's up to you. Um, to, to, to fix it and do what you have to do to get over it regardless of what those circumstances yeah. are. So, yeah. yeah. And you do have an opportunity to bounce back tonight. You've got the Fernie Ghost Riders in town tonight. Uh, the Riders have been pretty hot lately, 8-1-1 one one in their last 10. What do you look for from Fernie tonight? Uh, you know, I think uh, a lot of parallels, obviously. I think we're, we're in a similar situation. Absolutely. And, um, you know, we were, take, took us a while to kind of build a structure. And those are the teams that, you know, we got to be. We got to play tight against. We got to yeah. play strong because they're yeah. not just. They're, they're. I don't think they're just a hot team. I think they're. They're a good team. Right. right. And just like us, where you just, you start off a little slow because you're learning systems and structure, sure. and everything like that. And that's what I view these guys is. We got to expect that they're going to be structured and yeah. and uh, building much like us and, and have the same things. And and we've talked. We talk with the boys in the locker room about the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we does everybody want to win here? Yeah, for sure. But yeah. you know what. I doubt that coach in the other room is going. Everybody want to win, and half of them going. Well, we do. We know we're not sure, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so they're saying the same things in the other room, and and they're competitive too in the other room, and yeah, they want sure. to win. And yeah. we got to recognize that. So they're going to play tough. Yeah. Um, they're they're always a tough structured team to play against. They were in our division last year. Yeah. Um, you know they 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 have a good good players and well coached and and uh, I expect a tight game. Yeah. And which I'm hoping for a tight game because we got to part of learning is learning how to win those for tight sure. games too. So. Yeah. Yeah, and it should be a good game tonight. Rebels eight and two in our last ten games, yeah. so a couple of hot teams tonight for sure. Um, Bill, we're just past the halfway point of the season, if you can believe that already. And before we take a look back, let's go a little further back um, to the summer. You were hired as head coach and GM this summer. Um, talk a little bit about um, your process and how did you get started, and how did you kind of start putting your stamp on this team? Uh, I would well first. I'd say I'm still in that process, <laughs> and probably that's big part of it we're always in that process for and, sure and but yeah at the beginning you know I remember we talked and, and it was uh, you know it, it's work time right away the yeah. next, as soon as the next day is, is there's there's a plan in place you you figure out a couple pages worth of things that you got to do point by point and then you expand from there and and our first the first and everybody says this and, and now but you know you do you are coaching 23 guys sure not just a team yeah and especially in the off season you're certainly not teaching Four checks and, and defensive zone in the off season. Right, you're, you're trying to cultivate a culture by the time they get here, instead sure. of waiting till August 27th, and all of a sudden having to start from scratch. So, yeah. so, so the big thing that I want to do is get to know the players, and yeah. get to know the guys that were returning, get to know the guys that were coming, and, <clears> and make sure that too for if we're making moves yeah. that we know who we're shipping away if we have to do that, yeah. or or know who we're keeping and why, and and 
And so I we did a lot, I did a lot of travel. I you know I went up to Edmonton a couple of times. Yeah. Went to Calgary, uh, ran some ice for a lot of our returning guys, and and had a lot of sit down conversations with our guys. And yeah. even before even Patton, before he was named Patton, we wanted That's to right. make sure make sure we see the whites in his eyes, yeah. and, and that he's going to be singing the same tune that, that our organization uh, feels, and and it was evident yeah. with. The, those situations made it evident that we had the right guy going forward and the right people on our team yeah. going forward. So the off season was about building those relationships and then obviously building, kind of making sure that we could hit the ground running. Yeah. Um, because there's always going to be some hiccups, so you plan for zero hiccups. And for then, sure. <clears throat> and then go from there. So, but yeah, a lot of work and planning yeah. camps and even admin work and, and just logistics. Absolutely. And, stuff. So, yeah. and I know I, I've talked to a lot of the guys here in the first half of the season and uh, I know how much that meant to them. Um, being contacted by you in the off season and really getting to to meet them and know know each other and kind of talk about that culture that you're looking to build here in Castlegar and uh, I think that went a long way. Um, Bill, you talk about one of the mottos I hear you say around the dressing room all the time is is you challenge the guys to get better every day. Um, how do you implement that into your coaching style? I mean, what do you do to help these guys get every day? What's what's the process to get better every day? It's, it's a good question. <laughs> we, uh, you're right, though. You know, it's uh, a lot of. It's easy to say something yeah. and uh, say get better every day, and and you know, well, how coach, <laughs> right? It's, yeah. So it's uh, you know, and, and that's it is about the why and the how, and yeah. and so you got to break it down for them, and we 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 break it down. We you know, all of our weeks are consistent. So sure. and this is this may sound a little odd, but you know, going three and seven or whatever record was at the beginning, almost almost helped us in that mm -hmm. fashion because mm -hmm. we were able to concentrate on just sort of we call it flipping the coin yeah. and so we we use that analogy that uh when you when you do say flip a coin there's a 50 50 chance it's right. either way when you flip it a second time there isn't a hundred percent chance your chance is reset on right. on on a consistent basis yeah. so so we view the game as kind of like that you know yeah. every time it's flipping the coin it's uh it's uh, not chance and that but in a <laughs> sense where it's you know it's a fresh start absolutely and, and you're, yeah. you're you're you you're you're, you're what you got to do is reset, and you just got to keep building. So Monday, we have Monday. We call it work day. Yeah. Uh, we give it a name, and 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 that way, there's you know the boys all buy into it for sure. And and honestly, a hundred really a hundred percent credit why that able is to be uh, implemented is is the group of guys we sure. have, and, and they buy in at our leadership, and and you know Dan's um, you know there's an old adage in a book called Leaders Eat Laughs. And, yeah. And he's 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 always helping with pucks. He's not. Doesn't push it on rookies, and right. and so people kind of follow that lead. So so work day's work day, and every Monday, except for I guess two weeks ago when it was my work day, <laughs> but uh, every Monday, yeah, we get to work. We we skate. It's yeah. you know you can always be looked at as a bag skate, but the yeah. boys want to get better, and, and that's right. And that's they all buy in and want it, and yeah. we battle, and, and yeah. it comes at a cost. If you interview Chant Zott and, and his nose, I did. it was a Monday, yep. Monday, Monday casualty, but yeah. hey, we know it's part of the game. And, and what we have to do. So we talk about it with the constant reminder, you yeah. know. So we say, hey, when we went to bed this morning and we shut our eyes, are we better than when we, even if it's just by a little bit. Yeah. There's the smallest bit can we say there's something that we're better at when we woke up. And yeah. I think that, I think that constant, um, that constant earn to, to, to be better and, mm -hmm. and develop yourself and not just, not just get fixated on the goals. You have yeah. to have goals, but, but a lot of people get fixated on it. For sure. You have to know your goals Right, but but it's the process, yeah. the gradual process that you get fixated yeah. on, and that's that's where where our guys really buy in and, and understand that. Okay, even if it's just a little bit, you know, are we better today? And yeah. if we don't win or lose on the game, if we mm -hmm. don't get better, we take that personally, and, and we don't like it. And, and we talk a year younger, year me out here, right? Yeah. He was in an interview about a month ago, or you know, it was the beginning of the season, and this is the forty, you know, he's like eighty-eight years old. <laughs> And but the reason why he's still playing is because he still wants to get better. Yeah. And all the teammates said about him was how how amazing, how how he came in in better shape mm -hmm. than he was the year before. Yeah. Like, what? He's forty five years old. What do you mean? <laughs> and uh, and not only that, when they interviewed, they said, "Well, why? What do you?" And normally, when you hear a vet or an older guy, it's like, "Well, I'm just trying to do what I can, just That's finish right. out or do, yeah. you know, contribute where I still can." Yeah. That wasn't his. He just said, "I just want to get better. I got to get faster. The, the the kids are getting faster. I got to get faster." Yeah. And uh, so we kind of try to take that mentality where it's it's we have our goals, but at the end of the day, it's the process yeah. that that's important to us for sure. 
Um, Bill, it took you a little bit of time to um, fill out your coaching staff, but it looks now like you've got a great group of guys there. Um, talk a little bit about your assistants. I, I, we're, we're lucky to be where we're at. And yeah. it's, you know, in credit to, to, you know, it's executive too, where we're all on the same page yeah. to, to be like, look, we could either rush this or, uh, or we could, uh, we, we could wait, you know, look for the right guy. Yeah. And at the end of the day, just like anything else, you, there's certainly always external pressure. Um, you know, there's fans, whoa, who's the assistant? Who's yeah. especially with everything yeah. that was happening at the beginning of the season. For sure. And, uh, you know, you just, you just got to remind everyone, just be patient. And, <laughs> and you know that as soon as it's in place, people will understand why. And, yeah. and uh, you know, that's certainly what happened is, is I'm glad we didn't rush into it. I'm yeah. glad we waited for the right situation. And, uh, you know, you have Colton is, uh, is, is very, very high energy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's, uh, when you see him, he's just, you know, almost, you know, almost picking up the passion for the game that he's, <laughs> yeah, that, that's flowing from him. And, and uh, that's, that's addicting. Like it's, yeah. that's, the boys see it and they, you know, that wakes them up in the morning and yeah. they're ready to go. And, and uh, so when he moved, made, they, they, everybody knows that he made a sacrifice yeah. to come here and that's part of the game as for well. Sure. And, uh, and he played, you know, he played junior, so he understands he's got a certain connection. He's a younger guy. Um, Jake, you know, Jake, Jake's more my age. Mm -hmm. So, or is my age, I guess. And, uh, <laughs> so, so, and he's got the experience. He's got sure. the experience. He's been a, you know, head coach of a major vision of yeah. an elite, elite team. And he, he understands, uh, you know, what, what the process goes into yeah. coaching an elite level team where, where the guys do. You know their careers are important. Absolutely, yeah, you're right. And uh, so he gets that. He's got. He played at a high level too, and he's got some great advice. And and uh, and neither of our guys. And what I like about our staff is is there's no. And I made this very clear when I was looking for a guy. And we're not looking for a yes man. You know, like, right. like everybody's got to buy in. Absolutely. But at the same time, you know, behind doors we challenge each other, and yeah. and uh, you know we want to. You know, and I'm open to be challenged, and they're open to be challenged. Yeah. And, and uh, so it's, it makes us better as well as the staff. Yeah. So uh, I love that group of guys, and, and uh, they certainly make my job a lot easier. Yeah, you. it's a, it's a great group for sure. Uh, Bill, is there anybody you want to say hi to tonight? Um, well, you guys, hey, Mom, can I say hi, sure. hi Mom? Yeah. Yeah, the family's important. So, uh, you know, especially with Christmas time. And yeah, everything. for so, sure. Uh, mom, Grandma, Uncle Bob, Uncle Wade, all the uh, dad. Chris, Christina, whoever. Uh, no, I can't start. I feel, like, I feel like I'm at the Emmys now. Right? So it's, uh, no, yeah, th thanks to, and the, to obviously the 23 guys yeah. in the room. For sure. Excellent. Bill, thanks for doing this. Thank Congratulations you. on a great first half, Thank and you. good luck the rest of the way. Hey, thank you. We'll take it. Ready? So the the Rebels, I don't like your mug, uh, the Rebels will take on the Fernie Ghost Riders tonight, 7 p.m. at the Complex. Make sure you get out and support the Castlegar Rebels. If you can't make it to the game, you can catch all the action on PlayfulScreen.com.